Managing the 2013 Pay Review This short presentation gives an overview of the ground covered in a workshop we facilitated back in November 2012. The workshop included a look at the key trends in the UK economy, a review of what had happened to pay in 2012, and the pay expectations for 2013. Since the recession of 2008, the UK economy has struggled to establish any significant sustained growth. In 2012, we experienced the so-called double-dip recession, as GDP moved negative for three quarters. One consequence of this slow recovery can be seen in companies' profit margins. These fell back to the levels they had originally been at the end of 2009. Coupled with low levels of confidence, in the absence of a robust recovery, this has led employers to demonstrate considerable caution on pay. This has continued to be the case with a resultant squeeze on the value of real earnings. If we look at earnings since the beginning of the century, we see they have risen steadily, up by around 50% since the year 2000. However, when the picture is adjusted for inflation, the real value of this has been far less, only about 5%. Indeed, since the year 2008, we have seen a reduction in the real value of earnings. This has continued to be the general trend, even as inflation has reduced closer to its 2% target. So what happened to pay in 2012? Well, there was a fairly consistent trend that had pay reviews, where they took place, running at between 2 and 3% in the private sector. This is very similar to the picture in 2011. During the second half of 2012, there were a few signs that the trend was for lower settlements. One such sign is shown in this chart from the Bank of England. It shows a steady upward rise in settlement levels since the depths of the recession. However, there is a marked downward movement around the second quarter of 2012. Looking at data from our own database of pay reviews, we see that there was a median pay review of 2.8% where they took place. About 10% of employers had a pay freeze. However, when you look at this broken down by sectors, you will see there are some differences. For example, the civil engineering and building sector had 27% of employers with pay freezes. So what is expected for 2013? Well, generally, people seem to think it will be for similar or slightly lower settlement levels than in 2012. In other words, still between the 2 and 3% mark. In the public sector, there is likely to be continuing pressure for pay freezes. Whilst in the private sector, the expectation is for more targeting of pay reviews to high performers and people that organisations particularly wish to keep. This is shown by the results of our own UK Reward Management Survey, which we conducted in September and October 2012. The graph shows people's views on what they expected to happen in 2012 when we asked them a year earlier. It also shows what actually happened during 2012 and, finally, it showed what is expected to happen in 2013. It's noticeable that not much has changed. Slightly more people are now expecting pay freezes. 2012 didn't turn out quite as well as expected a year earlier. 2013 is looking very similar to 2012. The most common pay review level remains between 2 and 3%. Increases over 3% are few and far between. No one is really expecting reviews over 5%. We hope you found our presentation useful. If you'd like to find out more about how Paydata can help you, please contact us or go to our website at www.paydata.co.uk.